Hi there. My name is Jennifer Farley and I'm an author and an illustrator. And I'm here to tell you about a very exciting competition called Reimagination. Before we talk about that, I'd love to show you some of the books that I've worked on. And here they are behind me. This book here, Farad's Rickshaw Ride, was the first book that I ever worked on. So it was very exciting for me as an illustrator to do a, a complete book. This was written by Rowan Oberman, and it's all about a little boy in Bangladesh who gets a present of an Irish football jersey. These books here at the front are some of the more recent books that I've worked on. Island of Adventures is a book I wrote and illustrated, and it's about some of the really cool things that you can do in Ireland, like people can go and kayak under the stars, people go diving at shipwrecks, and people climb these huge sea stacks out at sea. So that's what this book is about. And we're going to come back to that in a few minutes and do some drawing. Last year, I worked on this book called Shooting for the Stars. And this was written by Dr. Nora Patton. And Nora is an amazing scientist who is going to be Ireland's first astronaut. Uh, this book shows you all the kinds of training that a, a, a scientist or a person has to do before they become an astronaut. And it shows you how people live on the space station and how they actually get to the space station. This book is the most recent book that I've worked on and it was written by Elena Brown. It's called Take the Lead and it's all about training, training your dog and how to get your house ready or your home ready for when a dog comes home and how you can look after a dog. I have two dogs myself and I'm absolutely mad about them. So this was a really fun book to work on. So now let's talk about something very, very exciting. Have you heard about the reimagination competition? On Post and Children's Books Ireland want you to reimagine your favourite story. Just draw a scene from a book you love, but include yourself as a character. Your entry will be judged by some of Ireland's best children's books artists and you could win an amazing prize. For full details, visit onpost.com forward slash readers wanted. So let's just talk very briefly again about Island of Adventures. Um, this is filled with some of the adventures that you can do around Ireland. Like, for example, you could go and watch hot air balloons taken off and landing. You could maybe try stand up paddle boarding. You could maybe go and visit Newgrange. Or maybe you could go to Skellig Michael and visit the old monks houses down there. So there's loads of amazing things you can do in Ireland. What I'm going to focus on is this scene here. This is all about scuba diving and visiting a shipwreck. Now, I've never actually been uh, scuba diving myself. I have been uh, snorkeling, which is brilliant fun, really, really good fun. But what I'm going to do is draw a simpler version of this. And I'm going to reimagine that maybe I'm one of the divers or I'm the diver. And maybe you might like to join in and reimagine yourself in an underwater scene. So let's get started. So we're going to do some drawing now and let's just talk about the materials that you need. I'm going to use a sketch pad. You might have a sketch pad at home or maybe some loose pages that you can draw on. I'm going to use a marker, but you might like to use a pencil or a marker or a crayon, a paintbrush. It really doesn't matter what you use. Whatever you have at home that can make a mark is absolutely perfect. OK, so let's get going with our underwater scene. I'm going to start with the diver, first of all, and let's start with the diver's mask. So to draw the mask, it's really simple. I'm just going to draw what looks like a capital letter B on its side. And then we'll draw the same thing again inside that one. OK, and then just a couple of little eyes. And a nose. 
And then we'll draw the driver's hat. Okay, because it's going to be pretty cold under the water. So they're going to have a wetsuit and a hat on. So I'm just drawing what looks like another a letter C coming out of the back of the letter B. Okay, now let's give the diver uh, the rest of their face. Something a little bit like that. And now we draw the body coming out of the back of the diver. So I'm just going to bring the little hat down a little bit to there. And then I'm going to draw another curve. Something like that. Okay, so this is the edge of the diver's body. Now, let's say that the diver has a couple of arms coming out this way. And let's give the diver a hand. Something like that. Okay, now that we know where the diver's arm is, let's bring the body around, the rest of the body around. So this is actually the diver's leg there. So I've just draw a little ankle and then big curve around back up to there. Now, it kind of looks a little bit like a seal maybe at the moment, but we're, we're, we're working on it and we'll get some more legs going on here. Let's have one more leg come up here. And let's put an oxygen tank on the diver's back. Okay, so the tank is going to sit there like that. Let's put maybe a little stripe or something on it. And the diver is wearing that over their shoulders and around their waist, okay? So another piece of equipment that the diver needs is a pair of flippers. So let's put those in down here. So I'm going to draw a big pair of flippers and bring those back down to about there. Maybe put a little couple of lines on it. And the same thing here, big pair of flippers. And we bring those back around to the ankle. Something, something like that. So the diver is nearly finished. There's still a couple of pieces that we're missing. One thing the diver could do with is maybe another arm here. That would help. And we'll put in another hand. And we've got the oxygen tank, but we've got, it's not going anywhere. So at the moment, the diver is going to find it very hard to breathe underwater. So what we need to do is put a regulator in the diver's mouth. And that regulator attaches on to the back of the oxygen tank. So now the diver can breathe underwater, which is going to be much better for everybody. So other things the diver might have are is maybe a, an underwater watch. That, that way they can keep track of how long they're actually underwater. Maybe they might have something like um, some kind of little holder here that would hold something, maybe like a knife in case they got caught in a net or got caught in a shipwreck or something like that. They could maybe cut themselves out, but hopefully they'd never have to use that. But the thing that I would love to meet if I went on uh, scuba diving, I would absolutely love to meet a dolphin underwater. So let's draw one of those into the scene. Now, we're going to give this dolphin a little nose to begin with. So we draw it up something like that. And then I'm going to draw a big backwards letter C that comes down, something like that. Then we'll join the dolphin's nose up, something like that. And again, we're going to draw another backwards letter C but we're going to leave a little space here to put in some fins and we'll bring it back round to about there. So it's not quite recognisable as a dolphin just yet, but let's put in a couple of sets of fins. So maybe something like that. And then something on the other side that the dolphin can use for steering. Okay, and of course, a dolphin has a very recognizable fin on its back called the dorsal fin. So let's put that in there as well. Okay, now let's give an eye, and I'm just going to put a little mark in there to make it look like the dolphin, uh, the dolphin's nose is appearing a bit more. 
And one of the things I really love about dolphins is they kind of look like they're smiling, I think. So we just bring a little, a little bit of a smile up to there. And one more line coming down here because it kind of looks sometimes as if dolphins' tummies are a lighter colour than, than their back. Uh, so that line can just be uh, an area where it's lighter. And then finally on this dolphin, we're going to put in its tail. So just slightly up from this line here, I'm going to draw a bit of a curvy line and we bring it up to there and another curvy line, a bit like that. So it looks a little bit like a moustache, but that's the dolphin's legs. Now, both the dolphin and the diver might have a few bubbles coming out around them. So this will help make the scene look like it's really underwater. OK, other things that we might have are maybe something like a kind of a sandy floor, maybe on the ocean. And if I was in the water, I would love to find a treasure chest. So we draw one of those in. So that's pretty easy. We'll just draw what looks a bit like a cube. So there's the front of the che treasure chest. And then we'll draw something that goes back a, bit, a little bit like that. That's the side. And then along the top, we might have something like this with a bit of a curve on it. And then some of those old treasure chests, they have like a big lock on the front. So we might have something like that and maybe a handle for carrying. And we just put in a couple of lines so it looks like it's made out of wood. And then importantly, in this treasure chest, we'd have loads of jewels and coins and things like that. So let's put those in. Maybe you'd have a crown. Something like that. And there's the, the back of the chest. So we could draw a few more coins in there and maybe there'll be a couple of coins out here on the floor, on the sea floor. OK, so a few other things that we might have. Maybe it'd be nice to see a starfish in there. So let's just draw a star shape. And it'd be nice maybe to give it a little smiley face. OK, something else you might see on the seafloor maybe would be a crab scuttling along. So I'm going to draw kind of an oval shape. And then the crab has pincers at the front. So let's draw the letter C. And then pincers and then a backwards letter C. So there's his, his claws at the front. Then we will draw in a couple of legs. And when I say a couple, I mean six here is what I'm drawing. And we'll just make those look a little bit thicker by drawing another line along, something like that. Now it looks maybe a little bit scary at the moment, so I'm going to make him look friendly by giving him a little smiley face. So now I'd be quite happy to meet that crab under the water. OK, and he's scuttling along there. Now, other things that we could have are, of course, fish. And the great thing about drawing fish is that they come in so many different shapes and sizes and colours. So let's draw maybe a fish up here. I'm going to draw kind of like a moon shape for this, the front. And then let's give it a tail. Maybe something like that and an eye and maybe a mouth. Let's draw another one down here. Give it a big tail. Give this one some fins up there and maybe a fin down the bottom. And maybe this one has some lips as well. And you could decorate this with spots or stripes or whatever colours you like when you're drawing this yourself. And we'll do one more fish, maybe. Let's say we draw a big one here. OK, 
Okay, uh, we're going to give him a bit of a big lip there. And maybe he actually has a big tooth as well. So give him an eye and a fin on top and a fin on the bottom. And a little bit of a pattern. So that completes our underwater scene. I hope you enjoyed drawing along with me. I'd love to see your pictures. Um, I'd love to see what you um, reimagine in your own drawings. Thank you so much for taking part today. I really hope you enjoyed draw drawing along with me. Don't forget to get creative and enter the Ompost Reimagination Competition supported by Children's Books Ireland. What story will you reimagine yourself into? To enter the competition, simply reimagine yourself into your favourite scene and tell us in 20 words why this is your favourite. Visit ompost.com forward slash readers wanted for full details on how to submit your entry. I would absolutely love to see your drawings and you can share your work on social media with the help of an adult using the hashtag readerswanted. Thanks again and bye!